right. Hey everyone, um, some of the third years were asking me on what I used to study for the MBME shelf exams. I just finished my third year actually studying for step two clinical knowledge right now. Um, so it seemed like a good time to go over the resources I used. And I remember when I was starting a rotation, especially ob guide, which was my very first rotation, um, I was struggling on trying to find what resource, there's a lot of resources out there, and trying to get a fourth year to sit down with me, um, a fourth year that I hopefully honored, um, and talk through what resources they use. So that's hopefully what I'm going to go over today. Uh, there's a lot of resources out there. I'm going to be going over UWISE, which is the question bank by the Association for ob guide UWorld, Case Files, Beckman's as a textbook, Blueprint as a textbook, and the Clinical Masteries NBME practice exams on $20 a piece. And before we start, OB-GYN is a fantastic rotation. You get to do outpatient, you get inpatient, surgeries, it's a whole bunch of fun, very hands-on. It was actually my first rotation, and I had it for six weeks, and I got an honor score um, by a pretty comfortable margin, too. So the first thing I want to talk about is UWISE um, by APGO, the ob -GYN Association. It's a 550-ish question bank. Um, they are, are set up by questions of 10 by topic. I think it's a really good way to get your funded knowledge basic stuff laid out. Um, they have great explanations. I did it within the first week and a half. Um, it seems like a lot, but it really 10 minutes, 10 questions, um, made Anki cards about it and was able to kind of go through that. Um, and then I would supplement it with the APCO videos, which are pretty basic, but they do go over the, um, the relevant topics and the education goals that you need to for the ob -GYN exam. So the next resource I used was UWorld. Um, there's about 263 questions as of right now. They actually added 30 questions from when I started ob -GYN, which was about eight months ago. Um, so they've been adding a lot more questions it's UWorld, it's super high yield. I like doing UWorld at the beginning of a rotation because I use it as a textbook. I know people say that they want to use UWorld as a question bank and simulate the test, but I mean, at this point of third year, I think you have the timing of uh, MBME and a test down, so I would rather get the high yield points of a subject learned and stowed away for very early, and then you can use it to refresh. If you want to do the questions later on, that's fine, but um, it's UWorld, get it done. So the next two resources that I use is pretest and case files. I did pretest first. It's 500 questions, small, um, small book. I used it for every single rotation, which I didn't plan to, but just so happened that I had time to do it. Um, it's pretty good. The questions are short. It's kind of like the APGO. Um, there's sections that I didn't do, like the ethics se section. It just wasn't high yield enough for me. But um, if you're running out of time, I wouldn't recommend it. If you have a lot of time, then you, you can do it for sure. So the next resource I used was case files. Um, I use case files for every single rotation, I think. Yeah, I, I did. Um, and I think that the ob guide book is the most high yield and most useful of all the rotations. Um, I would take, I, honestly, if you didn't have time, then I would do case files before pretest. 60 chapters, um, different topics, really just does the high yields. And if you wanted to, you can either do it like I did and just read from um, end to end, or you could use it as a supplement when you're doing UWorld and need um, supplementation for a concept. Just read the UWorld or the case file chapter and that should help you out. But it's definitely a good book. I highly recommend it. So the two textbooks I use for ob guide is Beckman's and Blueprints. Um, I use Beckman's I had a friend give me the, um, the physical copy and I had the PDF and I had the PDF of the blueprints. I love Beckman's, it was a great resource. I think it's rel the new edition relatively came out, but I'm sure it's all the same. But beautiful diagrams, very easy to read. Um, and I can't say the same about blueprints. It's just really dense, it's text heavy, there's no images. Um, some people swear by blueprints, but I think Beckman's is definitely a better option, especially if you're going to ob -GYN. Um People use that resource through their residency, I think. Um, I'm not going to ob guide, but <laughs> that's beside the point. I think Beckman's the way to go. Um, again, I would use it to supplement questions. So I get a question wrong on UWorld and then go to the chapter in Beckman's. 
And last but definitely not least, honestly I should have talked about it earlier, is the NBME Clinical Mastery Series. Um, it's basically the practice NBMEs of third year. Um, I'm a super strong advocate of doing the Clinical Mastery Series because they actually reuse questions. I think for me, I ended up doing three NBMEs, maybe two, um, it was a while ago. Um, but I definitely remember having four or five repeat questions. Um, they might have changed some vital signs, but it was basically the same question. I was able to answer them in a split second. Um, I would do them, at, they're $20 a piece, so what you can do, I'm not advocating it, is um, with your rotation partners, split it up, um, take screenshots of the uh, PDFs. Um, definitely not advocating it, though. Don't do it. Um, but it's definitely a good resource. I would definitely do it before pretest um, and before case files. You should, you should do case files, so. Um, but NBMEs, make sure you do at least two. I would say two. One is not enough, um, but two should give you a comfortable score. And that's it, all the resources. So just to summarize, I would do APCO at the very beginning, just burn through all those questions really quickly. Um, do UWorld because it's UWorld. Case files before pretest. If you have time, do pretest. Um, and then when you get questions wrong, you can supplement it with either Beckman's or Blueprints. I prefer Beckman's. And make sure you do at least one or two um, MBME Mastery Series. If, if anything, do all of them. Um, but OB Guidance is an amazing rotation. Might be your last time you're delivering a baby, so make the most of it. Um, and if you have any questions, then hit me up. All right, bye. I actually forgot one last resource, and I just remembered it when I was editing the video. Online MedEd, it's a free online um, video source that does a very great job in the OB guidance section. So definitely check it out. Use it as a supplement to your questions. Um, I don't know that I mean people that bought the question bank, but um, the videos are definitely good. Check them out. I think it's a good way to get your base funded knowledge get going. So yeah.